Hello and welcome to another training video. Now today's video is going to take a look at a question that was posed to me as a follow-on from one of my previous videos on how to use Power Query and how to refer to this workbook, in other words the current workbook, um, for creating relative paths in Power Query. Now the problem has come up recently with OneDrive, so when you're linking to a OneDrive file or you're working on a OneDrive file, and a recent update has meant that the online version of that file is the one that's referred to by default. And so what you end up with is a, an address path for that file rather than a local path on your machine. You end up with the HTTP web path rather than, if I click up here, you'll see how I get the path on my local machine. So uh, there's a couple of ways that you can fix this. Um, the first and simplest way is simply turn on flight mode. So turn off your Wi-Fi, disconnect any internet, and then it will have to use the version that's on your machine, so it will use that by default. Um, clearly you don't want to have to do that all the time, so another option you can try, and I would suggest try this one first before you try, before you re revert to having to turn off the internet. Just come down to this little icon here, which is your OneDrive icon in the task bar, right click on it, and what you're looking to do is to go to settings and when you get into settings go to office and untick the box here that says office syncs the office files that you open now if you leave that turned on what will happen is when you open um, an online file what it defaults to is the auto save option that you see so you may have seen this in the new 365. Um, you see how auto save is turned on by default, and the reason is because I've told it to sync automatically any Office documents. Now if I come down here, go into settings, remember, go into Office and uncheck that box, and click OK. And now if I've made changes to my auto sync, for example, turned it off for this file, it will stay turned off and you notice here it's now turned off so it's not syncing by default and so now the file itself when I refer to that file it'll be ref it'll be referring to the file that's on my machine rather than the online one by default okay so that's all I have for you today I hope it's been useful uh, if you did find this useful don't forget to like and subscribe down below and of course once more thank you for listening